You all knew that I wanted to interview self-described losers. I didn't have you in mind. <laughs> we volunteered. You did. You volunteered. <laughs> what is it about that classification, loser, that appeals to you? But was it episode eight of Duck Dallas and her put it up? And he is ecstatic. It's like, we got 12 views, 12 views. In an hour. In an hour. And I'm like, 12 years. And then I said, well, honey, I said, I hate to bust your bubble, but uh, on my blog, I uh, blogged about Adam Lambert, and I have about 787 views. <laughs> you know, Adam Lambert will, you know, bring him in. And anytime you mention um, boobs. Uh, boobs, people love boobs. That, uh, that one video we did about... Three goth years ago, girls gone wild. Goth Girls Gone Wild, which was um, Goth thing. Girls Gone Wild. It's got a quarter of a million views. It's yeah, it's got a quarter of a million views because there are in a year um, and a half. There uh, are boobs. There are naked boobs. They're censored. But they naked were naked at the time. Yes. I have this strange ability to talk women out of their clothes for free. For no money. <laughs> or pizza and beer. For some reason, I've always just been amused by goth girls even when I was in high school as a founder of a poetry club but then these oh, um, goth girls took over the poetry club and they would write poems about vampires and vampires I don't know what else but um, I was there are just, all kinds of vampires I was just fascinated by making fun of goth girls and for some reason all my life I've always had friends that were goth girls None of these girls are actually goth girls, no, nah, because like uh, I'm in it, like I'm reading the bell jar in the graveyard, and I'm like, wouldn't it be funny if goth girls were in a graveyard showing their breasts, and it's just like the antithesis of the beach. The history, future in history, I think of um, Herb's filmmaking career is there are a lot of unfinished projects. Not anymore. We started that movie Edward, and we started that movie um, Leadfoot, oh, well. and remember yeah but when you say you're just not going to do something and you stop that means you quit so it's not unfinished it's just never going to be finished <laughs> unfinished implies yeah. that i intend to go back to that one right. day and complete that but if it's never going to be finished that means garbage can script dump fire gone of course In i never way. i never throw away the files on the computer have you thought of the idea of, of like seeing if somebody on you know i don't know one of your director friends would finish the uh, never to be finished stuff. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. It'd be I mean, like one of those, like, uh. Take on a um, life of its own. Oh, what's the tandem right? It's like a chain novel. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can you explain to me and to the world what your company is all about? It's a thing that makes really stupid movies to entertain and make people laugh and hopefully make a buck off selling a t shirt or two. Has it ever been uh, something that something you viewed as a business? We were yeah. almost there in 2000, but DVD killed us. We couldn't DVD. do DVD. Yeah, huh. we couldn't do DVDs. So were you we... born at the wrong time? We're born, well... It's like the talkies of uh, yeah. the 21st century. It's like... Because we were making some headway on VHS in, in 2000, and then DVD kind of... That's when it shifted, and everybody's like, Wow, this got really good. we got to stock our shelves with DVDs. And we couldn't make it in time. I had a friend up north who actually built a multi-million dollar empire because they entered the DVD market at exactly the right time with three titles. Is he the guy that makes those lesbian vampire movies? It's the guy who makes the lesbian vampire <laughs> movies.